Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this particular video, we will show you how to assign axial end offsets to physical members. To get started in this process, let's go ahead and take a look at the three-dimensional view of the structure. And specifically, I'm going to point out the concrete beams and columns that you see on your screen. Now we're preparing to assign an axial end offsets to the concrete beams in this model. This command is used to set the end offsets along the member's longitudinal axis to half the depth of the connecting member. The program will automatically detect the depth of the outstanding face of the supporting member from its own center line, and then it'll set the local X offset equal to this value. So why are we preparing to do this for this particular model? Well, for this model, I'm going to assume that the distance from the face of support to the center line of support is fairly rigid considering that it is a concrete system. Now the default position or span length of a member in STAD Pro is from center line of support to center line of support. And that may be fairly conservative given the construction I'm taking a look at right now. So my goal is to go ahead and allow the program to have a longitudinal axial end offset to account for this rigidity in these particular members. So let's go ahead and clear that 3D view and I'm also going to navigate to the appropriate area in the spreadsheet. Let's go to our spreadsheet tab in the ribbon toolbar and then we'll go ahead and select the offsets icon. In addition to that I'm going to zoom out my screen and I'm going to select my two concrete beam members in the physical modeler you can use your cursor to select any type of entity and to select more than one entity you're going to hold down your control key on your keyboard next i'm going to go to the member tab in the ribbon toolbar and ask the program to assign an axial end offset to these particular members now if i would like to see that reflected in the spreadsheet let's go ahead and scroll on over here and you're going to see that the starting and ending end of the member has been assigned in offset position. Now the advantage about setting offsets or cross-sectional position in the physical modeler is that the program automatically will detect things like support member sizes and so forth, beam, girder member sizes, and it will be able to automatically adjust these offset parameters as member sizes change through the entire course of your workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.